Today, we'll talk about table triggers. Why do we need them and how to create them? Imagine you have to perform an operation on a table every time a new row is inserted, deleted, or updated. For instance, we have a table of clients, and we need to send an email every time this status is altered. Or you have a table of complaints, and every time a complaint is solved, you have to start a procedure to perform operations in other tables. These situations can be easily solved by using triggers. In our example, we have a table of countries and a column that keeps track of the last date that the record was updated or inserted. This field needs to be updated every time with the current date. Let's use the command create trigger and give it a name. If the trigger already exists, it will trigger an error. In this case, it's good to use the or replace option. On the next line, we need to state when the event will happen. In our case, it's before insert or update. Use the keyword on in the name of the table, and it will be triggered for each row. Then, inside the begin section, we can write our triggers logic. In our case, it's very simple. We use the keyword new to reference the new row that is being added, and the field last update, and then we assign the value that we want. Remember that the trigger will have to perform this operation every time a new row is added or updated. So, if the trigger is too complex and takes time, you will slow down all insert and update operations in your table. So, use it with care. And that's all for today. Till next time.